ESPN 106.1 FM, The Choice 105.3, and worldwide on IBGR.network. What you trying to say, please welcome to me, Mighty Beers Radio. This is the show in RVA, on the microphone in RVA. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. Mike King here. This is called On the Mic with Mike. Part of the Mike King Biz Media Network, ESPN Rich 106.1, International Business Group Radio, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, as well as CW Richmond TV. What we do is we showcase RVA in a different way, talking to entrepreneurs who are out there making it happen. Ladies, welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. All righty. So it is a dynamic duo. So it's a business show. So tell us who you are, ladies, and what you do. I'm a um, my business is my business name is Toys World. Um, I do mostly jewelry. Um, I started off um by, you know, the quarantine. Uh, I just made one and I just started like I had too many, so I had to start selling them. So, yeah. All right, mom. All right, mom so could you uh turn over just a little bit for me? Okay. Uh, I'll go the other way. All right, all right, Toys. So there you are. Okay, so tell us or not, how can people find your products out there? Um, we put it on, we put my um, logo on like shirts and stuff and we just give them to people. Okay. okay. And cards and, yeah. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, social media. Yeah. Tell them your social right. media. So Troy, when did you know that this would be a business that would work? That you're like, okay, before you're doing it for fun and all of a sudden you're like, hey, this thing is working. Yeah, I started off, I had so many bracelets, so I was like, well, what am I going to do with them? <laughs> so I was like, um, I just started handing them out at school, and then they were selling. Like, I had no more. So I just kept making them, and I had filled up again. So we was like, well, maybe I should just make a um, business. So we made a business, and we went to our first pop-up shop, and they were sold out. So we were like, Wow. So we started making cards and putting my logo on shirts and stuff. And we just started giving them to people so they can already have my business name in mind. And yeah. Alrighty. And so how do you know how much all business, a lot of businesses struggle with how much it you sell something for? How do you know how much you, you when you try and figure out how much can I sell this for and make money? Um. Well, they're five and ten dollars. So, like, when okay, so we order like the beads, and they're one price. But we, when we're selling them, we want to make it like higher than that price. Okay. How long does it take you to make one of the bracelets? Oh, um, it only takes me like um two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Man, that, you're killing it right there. Alrighty, so when the kids would see you at school, did you get to know that, oh, you're the one with, oh, you do have some cool bracelets there. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you got to be known as that person around school who has the cool bracelets? Um, yeah. You're like, yeah. I, yeah. I want did you see other people trying to, trying to jump on your idea after they saw you do it? Yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> That's when you know you got something right there. Alrighty, mom. So, uh, Alrighty, mom. There you go. You raised an entrepreneur, and you know what? That is that uh, she's making her way. And I always ask people, when did they know they had something? She's like, when the stuff sold out. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we didn't. You know, we didn't run out. We sold out, which is a big difference. Yeah. That, that's a big. Difference. All right, mom. So tell folks who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Tamika Starks with Tamika um, with Siobhan's Healthy Business. I have a vending machine company and I've served healthy snacks in my vending machine and healthy beverages in my snack machine and my soda machine. I have vitamin water, um, um, this bottle water, soft drinks. I have a lot of healthy um, granola bars, different nuts. I have um, 
light potato chips, um, raisins, any kind of healthy snacks, nutritional snacks that go into vending. Um, I do set up like pop-up shops for my vending machines. I do like um, sports events. I do church events, um, any kind of local healthy sports events if I can or any kind of event. I do that. I set up for it. How did you get into the vending machine business? I used to have a non-medical transportation company. When COVID hit, my mom um, sick, so I had to find another lane. So I looked online on one day and I found some vending machines that a guy was selling and I purchased them from a school and I just started networking and I, um, I networked and word by word of mouth and I found a company that needed um, vending and I just hurry up and stuck my vending machines in one company and then I just started networking and um, we're bad word of mouth again and just start utilizing my resources and I just went up from there. Were you always the entrepreneur type, the hustler type as a kid too? <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to work at MCB for a long time. <laughs> okay. So uh, you what you found a way yeah. to go a different field. A lot of times people are always trying to figure out how to make a dream come true. Something mm -hmm. happened to them and now they got to switch up. Talk right. to us about how that and why that's important that you were able to do it. Um, it's important um, because it's, well, what I do, I talk to a lot of people and I network and I go to different um, network social events. I um, try to, have multiple streams of income coming in after the pandemic. And the pandemic really started me off because when I was doing non-medical transport, she went into virtual school. So I had to stay home because I was out of town a lot with patients. So I had to find another lane to, you know, still get income. So I just, um, just took my way and getting on the internet and, trying to do some social volunteer work and just going. I always ask business owners, when did you know that you had something like, okay, you know, yeah. this thing at first, it's just like, yeah, but all of a sudden we're, we're doing okay with it. Right. Um, I knew once, I, well, I always pray and I always, um, when someone, by word of mouth, when I started, um, I put my first vending machine in and then people ask me, hey, um, where can you find a vending machine? At? And how did you get started? And how much money did it take? And, um, and I said I was going to start a consultation class on vending to let everybody know the different steps of vending. Um, but it's in the process. And I'm thinking about doing a podcast to you know, start myself off too. But I haven't got to that point yet, but I'm working on it. All righty. So how can people find information about what you do? Um, you can email me at TamikaTaxi at gmail.com, or you can find me on Facebook at Tamika Starts um, Healthy Snacks Vending and on IG, Siobhan's Healthy Snacks. Already, one of the things is you are not shy to go up. You will. We met at a networking event. Which event was that? That was at the Chesterfield National Night Out. Alrighty, and uh, are you a member of the chamber? I am. Let's talk about being a member of the chamber. What that's done for your business? Um, I just started, so I did go to my first meeting as a trying to become an ambassador. Okay. And, and um, so I went to that. That was really nice. I met um, the small group of people in that one center. And I, I think they have a luncheon coming up soon. Me so too. I to try to go to a luncheon once a month. And um, 
So I'm gonna start interacting with the Chesterfield Chamber, but we do, as me and Tori as a couple, we do um, go to a lot of the NL events. Okay. We are involved with them as well. So shout out and kudos to you guys. So one last time, how can I find you out there again? Um, you can um, email me at tamikataxi at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, um, Tamika Starts Siobhan's Healthy Vending, IG, um, Siobhan's Healthy Vending, and Tori's World on Facebook, and Tori and 10 on Instagram. Tori and... Ten, yes. T-O-R-I-A-N-N -E -N -N and the number 10. Got you. All righty. So, ladies, anything I can do to help out, we're going to, so I'm going to post, this is live right here. No, no, it's <laughs> not. This is Zoom. All righty. So, anytime you guys want to come to the studio, and let me tell you, being with the Chesterfield Chamber, it it, it changed my business. Okay. It, I knew a lot of people before, but the working with the people at the Chamber, it does it. I mean, okay. you get to talk to a lot of people. And mom, kudos to uh, raising, you know, a great daughter right there. And mm -hmm. the things that you guys are doing, that's the way when you get a chance to talk about your business, that's what you do, you know? Yes. Uh, people never bought anything they never heard of. Yeah. Are you guys part of the uh, Children's Business Fair? We do. We did. But well, this is our third year. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But that's where I've seen you guys at before because I used to do a lot with... Uh, with those guys there, that that's an amazing group. So yeah. anything I can do, uh, just let me know. This is okay. going to be on Facebook as well as. Are you on LinkedIn? Yes. Okay. I am on LinkedIn. Um, as Tamika starts and Siobhan Healthy Snacks, I am on LinkedIn. All right. You know what? Uh, find me and connect with me that way. When I post this, you'll be able to see it and get okay. and get the credit. Okay. All right, ladies, thank you. Thank you for thank your time. You. Thank right, you so much. Care. Hey, good luck now. Anything I can do, just let me know. Okay, I will. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>